Tired of dealing with annoying flies, fruit flies, and gnats in your home? The Zevo Flying Insect Trap is your ultimate solution. Don't wait. Check out the link in the video description now to get your Zevo Flying Insect Trap on Amazon and enjoy a bug-free home today. There is, it's said, a mouth-watering amount at stake, at least 330 million pounds, possibly as much as 1 billion pounds. Add in two SAS veterans and a walk-on part for Mandy Rice Davies, the spirited showgirl at the heart of the Perfumo affair, and it begins to sound like a film script. Perhaps, in time, that is what it will be. But, for now, the rise of Quantum Group, a firm based in Belgravia specializing in cybersecurity, is generating ferocious exchanges of fire about the military status of one of its co-founders. Photographs of both men, currently seeking to sell a 10% stake of the company, valuing Quantum at £330 million, with the possibility that it will be worth £1 billion next year, embellish its website. One shows its chief executive, the remarkable Floyd Woodrow, 61, who, after initial service in the Parachute Regiment, joined the SAS, was awarded the DCM and MBE for service in Iraq and Afghanistan respectively, and eventually retired, as a major, after heading the SAS counter-terrorist wing. The other snap is of a better-nourished, bearded figure, Peter Malmstrom, 57, the firm's head of mergers and acquisitions, and once Mandy Rice Davies' son-in-law. He is wearing a smart suit, and the tie of the Special Forces Club. It's that second detail which has surprised Special Forces veterans, who were also surprised by a report in a Sunday newspaper that Malmstrom spent three years with the SAS. He attempted to join the Territorial SAS, 21 SAS, but failed the initial run around the track at the Duke of York's barracks in Chelsea, one decorated SAS veteran tells me. This allegation is supported by a fellow veteran. I was the DS, directing staff, this witness tells me. It's the first part of selection. He didn't pass it. He claimed to have served in the early 1990s. How come, after that period of time, he had to go again at the pre-pre-selection? If you're in it, and you're serving, you wouldn't have to do it. While Malmstrom declines to comment on his service record, Woodrow has leapt to his defense. He says Malmstrom failed the initial run because he was unprepared for the course, but that he subsequently completed the run and was admitted into selection. Appearing in a podcast alongside Woodrow, Malmstrom said that, before doing three years with 21 Special Air Service, he first completed two years with the Parachute Regiment. Now his time with the Paras is also being subjected to scrutiny. He didn't pass P Company, explains a retired Para, referring to the selection process for the regiment. Another SAS veteran who, like Woodrow, began his service in the Paras, offers a crisp appraisal of the quantum men. Floyd is a mate, he tells me. Malmstrom, in his view, he alleges, is a Walter Mitty, a bloater, but Woodrow stands by him. Malmstrom's claims about being with the Parachute Regiment for two years and 21 SAS for three years are true, he assures me. Peter is a man of great integrity, he says. He was on the nominal roll with 21 SAS and was on loan with 10 PARA. However, this mystifies a former officer with 21 SAS. His name appears nowhere, this veteran tells me, after checking some of the nominal roles for a squadron in the early 1990s, the period when Malmstrom, in his application to join the Special Forces Club, stated he served in that squadron. The retired officer admits the records are not complete, but adds, I've never heard of this guy. Woodrow, who proposed Malmstrom for the Special Forces Club, responds, I have seen Peter's Army paybook clearly stating 21 SAS, and he has an Army number. These are the facts, adding that any suggestions to the contrary are untrue. Malmstrom has weathered storms before. In 1996, he founded Exchange Direct, which became one of Britain's leading currency exchange specialists. Five years later, it went into liquidation after a £15 million hole was found in its accounts. There was no question of wrongdoing by Malmstrom, who by then was married to Dana Shaw, Mandy Rice Davies' only daughter. Undaunted by the failure of Exchange Direct in 2001, Malmstrom became a director of a modeling agency, Isis Model Management which had Lady Isabella Hervey on its books. He also extended his interests to motorsport, competing for Deuce Racing as Peter Storm. But he reverted to the financial world, becoming a big cheese at investment business TMP, only to stand trial in 2012, alongside the